Hello, my favorite milk makers. Today I'm talking about some Christmas foods that you might be looking forward to, but they can actually have an effect on your breastfed baby or if you're pumping as well. As you may know, lots and lots of foods will end up as particles in your breast milk. They might flavor that breast milk as an introduction to early flavors, but there might also be parts of the food that may end up giving your baby a gassy tummy, bloatedness, and just generally a little bit of discomfort. And some of them are when it's Christmas. As a little pre-warning, it's always important if you have a baby that has been reacting to something that you have eaten, is to have a food diary, write down what exactly have you eaten and how has it impacted baby, and then try and rule out that food and see if these behaviors are changing. And that will give you a good indication if your baby has a food sensitivity or there might be stronger signs of an allergic reaction as well. Now the common Christmas foods are now going to be listed for you. You don't have to fully avoid them, but I would probably not eat loads and loads of them. And I would always keep an eye on how baby is behaving. Starting off with cauliflower, this can cause gassiness, bloatedness, and in general, a little bit of discomfort in baby. Beans are always a culprit. You might feel it and baby might feel it too. Some babies can be really, really sensitive to broccoli. If you're feeling a bit funny after you've had broccoli, then your baby might actually feel the same. Cabbage is always on the list. And of course, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts can increase gassiness. Your baby might feel bloated. They might have a visibly bloated belly and just have a bit of discomfort as well. There are also other foods that your baby can be sensitive to that can be a long, long list. So a food diary is absolutely your best friend. And then reaching out for support if you have any other questions. Enjoy the festive period.